Body contouring is becoming increasingly popular as a way for individuals to feel more confident and comfortable in their own skin. Body contouring is a term used to describe any technique or technology which can redefine, recreate, and reshape the body. The procedures include liposuction, tummy tuck, breast lift or reduction, breast augmentation, Botox enhancement, and skin tucking or lightening. All of these procedures are nothing but methods of body contouring in plastic surgery. The introduction of brand new technologies and treatment options in the world of body contouring has brought a revolutionary change. With that, patients' interests and expectations are also growing demanding increased efficacy, immediate results, affordable costs, few complications, and perfect results. These non-invasive body contouring technologies are not risk-free, and their results may only be temporary, the FDA cautioned recently. Today on your regular Health TV talk show, The Physicians, we'll be talking about body contouring trends the Brazilian butt lift phenomenon. Stay tuned. Every day and in every way Enjoy that I find support No matter the role you play You dream back some limit For you and me In your body That I fight you Darabite Nutritional Supplements is loaded with essential multivitamins, minerals, and natural ingredients that helps you to be at your best. Darabite from LB Pharma. Darabite, love yourself. It's another day with the physicians where your health is our business. My name is Dr. Martina Agbiri, your regular anchor on this program. And of course, I'm not alone. I'm here with my very elegant, beautiful, eloquent doctor. I'm Dr. Ramona Yusuf Kadri. Welcome on board to your favorite health TV talk show, The Physicians, where your health is our business. And will always be our business. business yeah. To this topic. What's the current trend? <laughs> <laughs> Body mm -hmm. contouring trends. It's actually a current trend. It's really, it's really on the increase. And um, I know I've gotten quite a number of requests to talk about it. Why are women, you know, um, all out? Uh, for real and, and to enhance their body and and I'm saying look the truth is that if you don't like your nose you want to do something about it do it it's your money it's your body you know if you don't like your boobs or your whatever you know and the, the problem now is that there are quite a number of young women going into, into it, it that are not married so people are not asking but if they now have children and their body changes would they Go back under the mm -hmm. knife. And, but so what I'm actually what, what I'm actually thinking is um, it's a cosmetic surgery, yes. right? If we are doing it because, uh, for instance, that uh, you had an accident, you had something, and uh, you needed to just do a plastic surgery repair, that That's is fine. Repair. That is a repair. But you are going to enhance something. Mm -hmm. Do you think it has to do with uh, low self-esteem? So there are a lot of discussions around that. Is it low self-esteem? Is it uh, a mental-related issues? No, I'm going to sit down here as a psychiatrist and say, why do we think it's a low self-esteem issue or it's a mental-related issues? The truth is that you don't like this part of your body. You have the money. You are not afraid of going under the knife. Go do it if that is, will make you happy. The, in our pursuit for personal happiness, you we have to give people, let them people do whatever they want to do. You cannot say because you think or you are zooming for this person that is why this person should go and do it we all know that how, about, how about the health consequences the health co co is not it's, the thing is that it's not about you face your health consequences i i would rather look at it from another aspect i think it's something is deceit to me is deceit <laughs> yes to me is deceit just be natural. Why don't you just be yourself? You want to be natural. This person doesn't want to be natural. The person feels that I want to enhance. There is a reason why you have been made that way. And by God, right? Yes. But now they say, okay, there are not available resources. Okay, people will say, okay, why do people take vaccine post-COVID? Because you don't want to have COVID. They, they will also, they will have answers for you. 
The advance, that's for you. Well, we have an expert who's going to come to talk more about this, this trending stuff. The body contouring. <laughs> we'll be back after the short break. Stay tuned. Welcome back. If you have just joined us here on your regular health TV talk show, the physicians where your health is our business. Today we'll be discussing body contouring trends, the Brazilian butt lift phenomenon. In the studio with me, we have a guest, a consultant, public health physician. She is no other person than Dr. Oluchi Kama Okafo. She's also a senior lecturer with the Lagos University Teaching Hospital and a member, executive member of the Medical Women Association of Nigeria, Lagos State Branch. Doctor, you're welcome to the program. Thank you. You're welcome, welcome Dr. Dr. Oluchi. Sweet Oluchi. smile. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. So what, well, this is actually something that is trending. And uh, I want you to actually go deep and let's dissect the reason why this is happening. Talking about body contouring trends the Brazilian butt lift phenomenon. I'm sure you must have heard so much about it. Yes, it's, it's, it's becoming quite popular, especially with social media. So it's one of those trends that have risen as a result of social media. So um, especially young people, they go on the internet, they go to social media, and they see their, you know, their, as they call it, social media crushes, you know, looking one way today, and then the next day they look different. They want to be like them. And so the solutions are there. Just, just change your body, contour your body. Okay, so contour your body. Just tell us, give us a general overview. Okay, so the, um, the most popular one, like the one you're talking about, the Brazilian butt lift, is basically um, liposuction and fat transfer. So um, a person's body fat is taken usually from their abdomen, their thighs, or their hips. It is now, this fat that is taken out of their body is modified, cleaned, purified, and then replaced into the body, especially in the butt area, which is where many people want to have it done. And so um, the, the benefit of this ag against using maybe implants is that it, is, it doesn't require maybe a revisit after a while. Like an implant will require it to be changed after about 10 years. But for this, um, the fat transfer, once the fat is placed into the desired position in the body, for example, the butt, it stays in there for, you know, for the rest of the person's life. So if a person, it, it, it becomes part of the person's um, you know, normal body contour. And if the person loses weight, it could go down. If the person gains weight, it can go up. So it just works like the body. So that's where it finds its advantage. And that's why people will go for that um, approach. So why is it trending now? Social media. The young, the young people. Yeah, social media. People even, are even, even, even uh, <laughs> women that have uh, the married ones that have grown, grown mm -hmm. have, have children, yeah. they're still going for this. It is, it is once, once you create a choice for individuals, yeah. they'll take it. It's expensive. Uh, let me not, let's not get that wrong. But it's something that people are, are willing to invest in. So many people are going for it, even though it's expensive. It goes for about maybe roughly five thousand dollars currently if you want to get it well done, properly done by a certified um, a, um, plastic surgeon. So you can get that expensive. But people go for those. I think where the major problem is when, is when people go for you know for um, the procedure from a less qualified person, and that's when you begin to see some you know side effects become more frequent. I think even from a qualified person, if you, anything can even go wrong on the theater table, which you know that you have even done all your medicals and done the screening and something just goes wrong. So whether qualified, less qualified, for more risk with less qualified people, but it could even happen with very qualified people. My own question here is that, aside from the social media that's optimizing, it. You know, making it look as if it is a normal thing. Um, there are available uh, places and countries and, you know, centers that you can do it. What makes somebody even want? In the mind of somebody who wants to go for 
a BBL, which is a Brazilian body. What goes on in that person's mind? Why do I want? Why what do, do they, they want to even do it in the first place? Yeah, that's a very good question. Because the, um, many of the practices now, a good practice when a, a, um, a patient comes to, you know, subscribe for this procedure, one very an important step is to do a proper psychoanalysis and then begin to assess the reasons why the person wants a procedure so that you can identify if the person wants the procedure for the wrong reasons. And these wrong reasons are called the BBL red flags. So you want to look for the BBL um, red flags. What could they be? They could be just, um, you know, somebody wanting to get back at somebody. Maybe or somebody who's recently um, out of a relationship, wants okay. to make the other person, just like a retaliation, make another person feel bad. That's not a good reason to put oneself through so much. Or somebody um, feels that it's time to, they're competing with someone else. Yeah. Or they see um, somebody on social media they want to be like forgetting that sometimes those social media images are filtered. But then on the other, um, other hand, it can be a medical condition. So there's, it can be a, a body dysmorphic syndrome. So there's, that's a, 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 it's, it's a mental situation where there's this body dysmorphia feeling. So the person needs to be well analyzed to know why they want to do, do it. And once it's clear that it's a choice, being made rationally, then it's left to the individual. If that's the, the choice, the services are available, then nothing stops the individual. So if uh, after evaluating and you find out that the reasons for wanting to do that are for the wrong reasons, as, if, as a physician, what are you supposed to do? If the as, always, as always with any health condition, when you find out that um, your patient needs to be guided, counseling. So that's that option, provide adequate counseling. Those, for those people who have the body dysmorphic syndrome, you know, they, they look normal, they, everything about them is fine, but they sort of, in their minds, assume they don't look okay. Some other people go into the procedure expecting more than is possible, because like an artist, if he's going to paint, the material he's, he's provided with to paint, to carry out his painting, is important. So if the surgeon has somebody before them that has a genetically um, already predetermined kind of body form, there is an extent to which they can sculpt the body. So some people have a, a, naturally, a natural tendency to a, a slim waist, so they're easier to work with. But some people are naturally bulkier, their body structure. So those are the considerations that you know, should be presented to the, to, the, to the person that is prospecting that service. Let them get an idea of what it is they might be getting. And that's why many times a patient is asked to come with you know, a, um, an image, of their BBL goal, yeah. their, their goal, uh, an image you know, or something. Many times people come with pictures of celebrities. But in, with time, it is seen that people are coming with more of pictures of their social media icons, no longer celebrities. And when they present this, if it's possible, it should be explained to them that this is possible. But once it's not possible, it should be clear from the moment that process is being explored. It should be clear that we might not be able to achieve this. So that people are clear about it before they go into it. So there's this um, school of thought that one of the things that is driving this BBL um, among more on the women than the men is that the men like women that have big boobs and big, big but. butts. And so because of that, they tend to like, look, I don't want to carry last. I want to also be among mm. those women. Is that something that is, it, we should also hold on to? Because we don't really have full stat statistics on how BPL cases are in Nigeria, whether successful or even mortality. Mm. Is that one of the drivers of this current trend because of the men? The women want enhanced bodies. That's, a, that's another good question. From my research, that is a, is a fallacy. A study carried out in Nigeria, a 2021 study carried out in Nigeria, in one of the Nigerian universities, 
show that men, Nigerian men, do not prefer women who have had a procedure done. They would rather, there were two questions, would you encourage it? And it was found that the, the minutest percentage, 8% of Nigerian men, wow. said they, that they're okay with it. With the way the women are. Ah. Well, they're okay with um, a woman going through a procedure. Just 8%. Oh, oh, then, just 8%. 8%. Yes, then, yeah. when, uh, they, then uh, when asked the question that would you um, encourage Sorry. a woman to um, go through with it, just 11.6% said that they thought it was okay. And interestingly, this was disaggregated according to age. And it was found that men, the very young men, those are, you know, under, maybe in their 20s, on 20s and below, so our young people, yeah. they don't like it. I sir. And then the older people, they don't like it. The people that, that seem to, for both men, questions, yeah. that were, 30, yes, people what? between the ages of mm. so at, uh, 30, maybe 27, late 20s, maybe 28, mm. and 35. There were those that were receptive to it, but at the two extremes, mm. they didn't mm. like, they it. like it. So I'm seeing a future where, it might not be, it might not Very be, yeah, people might not really want, want it anymore because yeah. the young men who it is intended to please, please. are no longer interested in it. Okay. So uh, that was an interesting study. It was conducted in Nigeria. I, I still have a lot of questions for you, but we need to just hold on. So we keep a date with the, the physicians out there. Let's hear what they have to say about this body contouring the trains that is going on, the Brazilian butt lift. Let's see. Let's hear from them. We're back after the short break. criticize people what to do so I let people do whatever they want to do so if you're free with whatever you feel this is right for you come on go ahead do it if it's bad to the people if it's bad let them say if it's good let, let it be just do whatever you want to do it's your body it's your life so that's how we roll every day and in every way enjoy that I find support no matter the role you play you dream back supplement for you and me your body. Hey. Darabite Nutritional Supplement is loaded with essential multivitamins, minerals, and natural ingredients that helps you to be at your best. Darabite from LB Pharma. Darabite, love yourself. Welcome back. If you have just joined us, you are on to a regular health TV talk show. The physicians where your health is our business. We've been discussing the body contouring trends. The Brazilian bodily phenomenon, popularly known as BBL. And Dr. Oluchi has been schooling us and taking us, giving us statistics on, on this particular topic. Our guest is a consultant, public health physician. She's a senior lecturer with the Lagos Investigation Hospital, an executive member of the Medical Women Association of Nigeria, Lagos State Branch. She is Dr. Oluchi Kama Okafo. Welcome again. And you already told us statistics, and it's actually very interesting. So, and it gives hope that uh, with time, this is likely to fizzle out. But what I want you to answer is uh, after doing or going through all that procedure of doing the butt lift, do you think you could get to a stage where the woman will say, I think I, I, I don't want to remain like you? Because after doing butt lift, now you, are, you want to slim, you're doing exercises, the thing is also coming down. Do you, is it reversible? Well, um, I would say that it becomes an individual, it, uh, it depends on the individual case. Yeah. Now, it was a procedure that was done. The procedure to take it out might be possible, but it would have to be looked at as per the individual case. Okay. Now, if the procedure done was maybe an implant, that's easy, take out the implant. Okay. But then to liposuction to remove the fat will also be possible, but I'm certain that it will be a case where the surgeon will have to look at it case by okay. case to look at you know the risks that might be involved because we haven't talked about the risks yes I, that, was, that was going you to be know. the next question what are the possible risks yes risks? it can be fatal now statistics have shown that in the past 
it, the, in good hands, well-certified surgeons, the fatality was one in 6,000. I'm talking about fatality. But over time, because methods are being modified, there's more learning in that respect. It has changed. It's becoming one in maybe 14,000, 15,000. So it's getting less yeah. dangerous. But the method by, by which um, it can become dangerous is by pulmonary fat embolism, yeah. where the fat that is being injected into um, the, the, the preferred part yeah. might go between the muscle, then get into the blood vessels, go into the heart and lungs, and that's, and that's instant death. So it can be, it can be that dangerous. You know, but with learning, with um, things becoming better understood, it's getting less and less dangerous. Well, thank you, Dr. Luchi, because it looks like a lot, we have a lot of uh, body contouring trends now, apart from this uh, Brazilian butt lift. We also, also saw another one, temperature controlled fat removal, muscle building and toning procedures, skin tightening treatments. You know, there was, and I even saw the, even the lift. They were injecting the lip. Yeah, all the put up computers and everything. Yeah. Why well, any word of advice? Last word before we go. Well, um, self-esteem is very important. It's important to, you know, have a very clear understanding of, you know, a person's yeah. natural endowments. But um, sometimes a person understands clearly where they're coming from and they're dissatisfied with it. It really boils down to choice. But let everybody be guided by the, going to the right people, making sure that whoever is providing that service is well trained, rather than going to um, those services where they're licensed, but the provider is not a, a surgeon. Because it's, it's allowed now for people that are cos cosmetic people to pro provide some of these services. So go to the licensed people if you must. But there are alternatives. Alternatives like exercise, exactly. diets, yeah, you know, drive, targeted yeah. exercise, that might work. I know that's hard and some well, people might not be satisfied thanks, with it. Thank you very much, Dr. Luchi. I don't want to take the last thing you said here. It's about a choice. It's about a choice you make. Self-esteem is actually very important. And uh, to me, exercise is key. The right places to exercise. Because I've always said it. If you do exercises, right, you will always achieve your goal. Just put the, put the model of how you want to look and ensure that you are consistent in doing it. But if you put the benefits as a pill, it will be the best pill in the world. And that note, I want to say thank you for coming on our program again. My name still remains Dr. Martina Agbemwe. Till next time, stay blessed. Thank you very much, Dr. Luchi Kamalka, for this is a very important topic, and I'm sure we have more people, you know, wanting to know more information on BP and the other current trends. So our viewers, thank you very much for always keeping it real with us on your favorite health TV talk for the physicians, where your health is our business. If you want to be a part of this show, please go to our website, fill in the form, and you'll be right here, just like how Dr. Oluchi is. Be kind to follow us on all our various social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You want to have you know, weekend chill, we are there. We have lots of episodes, past episodes that you can you know, binge on. And our regular TV talk show is 7.30 p.m. West African time every Saturday. Come together with your family and friends and enjoy all the goodies we have for you. Till next time, remain blessed. My name remains Dr. Nimona Isokarpe. <laughs>